been on the receiving end of criticism for his handling of the Godra violence. But Narendra Modi has now taken the allegations in his stride. He now enjoys the support of several minority leaders, including from the former Congress leaders. He's been on the receiving end ever since the post-Godra violence, accused of looking away when Gujarat burned. But Narendra Modi took all the criticism in his stride and denied any wrongdoing. And by 2011, Modi was reaching out to the minority community and building bridges. As the Chief Minister Narendra Bhai, when he came, he was concerned about that in Muslims, there should be a good network in the minority of Muslims. He gave 300 Muslims to corporations, to the panchayat. The CM has selected about more than 75 as a chairman and vice president. So they have given the Muslims the key role. Modi has made attempts, some say he made amends to ensure development in Ahmedabad's Muslim pocket of Juhupura. As the trials of the 2002 riot cases played out, some of Modi's former aides have been convicted. But Modi himself has come out clean, an opportunity that he's grabbed with both hands. In the last few years, many from the minority community have publicly embraced Modi, some even from the Congress camp. It is the inclusive growth story which I saw in the Gujarat that attracted me towards the Bharatiya Janata Party. Whereas in the Congress, I was not able to see that there was any growth at all, there was no leadership and there was no inclusive growth at all for the Muslims. 2010 also saw Modi win the Katlal Assembly seat in the by-election, a constituency that has a considerable minority vote, wresting it from the Congress, marking a significant shift since 2002. But in this election, can Modi woo the minority vote bank? Has much changed since 2002? Bureau Report, Times Now.